your boy East One L B man. Um Pistons is one tonight against the Houston Rockets. A uh, good win. Although we're not going to the playoffs. Um it was a good win, man. They showed some fight, they showed some 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 um passion and they showed some will tonight, man. And there was some guys that surprised me, man, and um Ball Bang went the fuck off tonight, man. He uh took advantage of his height, his size. Nobody on the court for the Houston Rockets could guard this guy. Um, for God's sake, all you have to do is get the ball and pit his arm up, and he basically, the ball going right in the rim. Um, grab rebounds, played some good defense, showed a little mobility. Um, still got to work on a few things, a few fundamental things. I caught him out there, running back up the court, trying to stop the point guard. No, you seven three. Your mobility is not all that, and, uh, you should have just went straight to the rim. But overall, man, he had a monster game. Andre Show wasn't doing shit. He was too busy throwing the ball out of bounds. Looked like he was sliding on the fucking window. Like he on the short bus or something with a helmet on. Fucking, oh, man, that dude, man. He got so much potential. You just don't realize it. I don't understand it. Um, man, he got a ways to go still. Um, but, uh. Henry Ellison, man, this guy is going to be a stud for us, bro. He just reminds me of Dirk Lewinsky so much, bro. Um, the way he moves out there on the court, the way he got a feel for the game, how he find easy shots. And I seen him out there diving on the court, man. That's a that's a guy that wants to win. And I, I, I love those guys that go for loose balls. You know what I'm saying? That gives it the maximum effort, hustle all the way, nonstop. I like those kind of guys, man. Although he had a a bad shooting percentage, man, that shit ain't, I didn't care, he showed the confidence, he wanted, when he got the ball, and he felt like he was open, he shot that thing, he didn't hesitate, he didn't pump fake, he didn't do none of that, he shot that thing, it don't matter how many you miss, he showed that he had supreme confidence, and um, he wasn't phased, he wasn't scared at all, it was his first start of the season, I know a lot of people gonna say, oh, Stephen Van Gunny should have been played him, blah, 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 like, y'all got to understand, Stephen Gunny already had his lineup made up in his head. Um, he gave guys minutes that played good last year. He brought in the Lord to be a backup to Tobias Harris. Um, you know, so the rookies had to wait it out. So I can see both sides of the spectrum, but I'm going with the side of the spectrum. Before the season, Stephen Gunny already had his mind made up. Now, that didn't work out. Reggie Jackson had a bum knee. By the way, Reggie Jackson is not going to be this trash next year, bro. You can mark my words, bro. People gave up on him, threw him under the bus, said he's trash, said he's this. Like Stan Van Gunny said, he should have been shut the guy down. The guy had, he had, he was shot. He needs to get surgery, recover, and come back better than ever. And that's what I think he's going to do. And y'all can mark my words. Y'all can come on here and say, Reggie Jackson's trash, he's still trash, whatever. Next year, Reggie Jackson's going to have a comeback year. And don't be surprised if he gets that most improved award. Um... Like I say, the Pistons let me down this season. They're not making the playoffs most likely. But uh, it's good to see these good these young guys getting some minutes finally. And uh and they they stepping up in, in big moments. So Stan Van Gunny is going to know what he's going to have. Now, the thing is, like I say, I see a lot of people on Twitter talking about oh, oh sucks that he had them buried on the this just good, man. This good right now that they're getting his minutes and they stepping up. This just means hopefully we can get rid of Baines. Old car motor or fucking fishneck hair having that. Maybe we can get rid of him. Maybe John Lewis, we can trade him off for a little second round pick or a motherfucking uh, a backup shooting guard or something. Who knows? Henry Ellington next year is going to get way more playing time, way more minutes than he got this year, this season. Um, it just, he, he looked good out there, man. Like I say, he reminded me of fucking Dirk Lewinsky, the way he moves. Um, the way he be around the ball, like I say, the way he hustled me. That guy, he was diving for balls, he even had a block shot, and then his confidence never wavered. He didn't care he was going to, going up against um, James Harden and playing the Houston Rockets, who have one of the uh, better records in the NBA right now. He didn't care. Anytime he felt like he was open, he shot the ball. He didn't pump fake, he didn't, he didn't do none of that. You know, he didn't do none of that bullshit. He shot that motherfucking ball. And that's what I want to see from the young guy, as, um, such as um, Henry. He didn't... No matter if the field goal percentage, fuck that. That shit is misleading. That dude had a good game. He played phenomenal. His first start of the season, his first start in his, in, in his career. Um, and he had 
a double double, man. If he had 15, 11, 12 rebounds or some shit, dude looking nice out there, man. Dude looking nice, man. He just need to uh the things he need to get better in the off season. He put on he need to put on a little more meat, get a little more strong. He don't need to put on a little more meat. He just need to get stronger. So get a, get your weight game up. Um, defense awareness, his shot, his defense awareness, his shot. He need to work on. Uh, his fundamental games on the defensive side. If he can get the defense down, he's going to be a special player. His offense is already there. He still can get better. He still can find more ways to score. Like get a little uh, post up fadeaway, a little Dirk Nowinski, one leg kick, one leg up. You know what I'm saying? Fadeaway back. He still need to get that. He's gonna get that. He's only a rookie. He's still young. He's not. He's still raw, man. This guy, once he get it, he's going to be special. Now, Stanley Johnson. I'm not gonna lie, had a disappointing year. But once again, he's 20 years old. He's a young guy. He still don't know what he's good at. This guy, to me, is going to be a good player once he get it. Stan Stanley Johnson is one of those guys. Now, unlike Henry, this guy, he pass up shots too much. He's overthinking. You know, when he gets the ball, he's going to the rim. In his mind, he want to pass. Sometimes it's okay if you miss, bro. Take it up. Get your little floater game going. Go to the hole. Use your use your, uh, your your muscles. You need to lean up in the offseason as well. I said that last year. You need to lean up, man. You're too fucking stocky, bro. You're too stocky. You know. But Stanley Johnson can ball. And when his head is in the game, he can play, man. He can play defense. When he's in it and he's, he want to be competitive and he get mad, he can start knocking down shots and he can play defense. Stanley Johnson, I'm not worried about no man. Once he get it, Work on his game. Finally, start taking the NBA serious because I don't think he take it serious for real. Uh, I think he just he loves the game, but he he's not he's not in love with the game. You know what I'm saying? If you get my drift, you know what I'm saying. But uh, once he get it, he's gonna be a special player. Andre Drummond, I'm praying to death when we go to Detroit that he changed his whole attitude, the way he just look out there. He just look disinterested. He just look a little slower. He looked lackluster running up the court. He looked, his defense is shot. Man, when point guards, anybody coming to the rim, bro, he backs up, he blaring, he wobbling. He's doing all kind of retarded shit. Hopefully, we can get the old Andre back. Once he get his head out of his ass from getting his big ass contract and stop trying to rap and stop trying to be a DJ and all these bullshit adventures, it's okay you do that. But, man, take your game more serious, man. That's, that's the problem with the NBA now, man. They, Salary done went up, and these players getting all this kind of money that they would have never seen in the old climate. And uh, they say, "Fuck it out!" Never thought I would have got fucking seventy million for being this trash. Damn, I got seventy million for being this trash. Fuck being competitive. I'm set for life. You know, so it's not competitive like that. Um, it's referee driven. Uh, a lot of acting, a lot of flopping, a lot of tippy tap fouls, a lot of Weak ass charges being drawn. The referee, it's just terrible, man. It's kind of watered down, but I love basketball so much, I just gotta continue to watch it. But like I say, man, we got a high draft pick. It's probably gonna be somewhere along the range of motherfucking 14, fucking 8 to 14, better like that. We're gonna have a high draft pick again, but we're gonna get another young guy to add on. He can um, get rid of a couple pieces, bring in a couple pieces. You know, somebody might not pay KCP. You know, and at this point, KCP, man, good player. I believe in this guy. I think he can be so much better. But he's like, he has spurts of being very good, and he has spurts of being very bad. He has spurts of being very good, and he has spurts of being very bad. If we can just put together a solid season, because at one point, for the longest in the season, he was shooting around 40%, 39% from the three point line. Now, a lot of games, he was jacking up shots, trying to get his back. He missed a lot, made a lot. You know, so his percentage kind of dropped, you know what I'm saying? But overall, he did improve his three-point shoot. I want to see this guy really start drawing fouls, taking it to the hole a little more, and, and uh, stop settling for too many threes because his dribbling is not that great, you know what I'm saying? He settled for a lot of threes because he really ain't no fucking ball handler like that. You know, he's more of a spotter, run off screens, pin downs, and shit like that kind of player. But uh, if he needs to get a little more consistent with scoring, then I, I'll be satisfied. But Stan Van Gundy is not going to pay this man all his money. 
you better make sure you get a shooting guard that can score and play good defense. Um, you only get one out of that ordeal. You only get an offensive player. Then you're losing the deal, bro. You're losing the deal because he needs to have some stability. I don't care if you get it from the draft or you nurture the guy or, or you trade something. You better get something back for this guy. Period. Um, Tobias Harris needs to come off the bench next year. I think we should start him. Period. Start him off. Um, this from Jump Street. Start him off. Throw him out there. Uh, he should be fresh. Work on his game. He got a lot of playing time in the D League. You know, let him play. Get rid of Baines. Get something back for him. Might not be nothing much, but get something back for him. It's better. It's better talent out there that we can use off the bench. Um, get ball by more minutes. Uh, that dude was playing phenomenal, man. He was getting and ones. He was blocking. He did a lot of great things tonight, man. But the Rockets don't play defense. They're all offense. So he kind of can get down and they didn't. They don't have nobody to like push Boban around like that. But I'm not here to take nothing away from him. He played very good. He played very, very good. He looked real good. He shit it on um, uh, Aaron Banks' honey bun. He shit it on that shit. Like, boy, get your ass on. We don't need your milkshake, fucking greasy ass, Moby Dick ass fucking hands, bitch. Get bitch ass on. But uh, like I say, man, we got a hot draft pick. We got Reggie coming back healthy. We got guys coming back improved. We got uh, Sam and Gunny easing up, giving these rookies playing time. And you know, hey, let's let the bar, let's let the games begin because Detroit is gonna be rocking. Fuck the Palace. I love the Palace. A lot of memories in the Palace, but fuck the Palace. It's time for a new culture. You know what I'm saying? And we building a, a young team. They need to get a new culture, bro. We we gotta let the the 04 and the 89. We gotta let it go. We can't let it go because that's our history. But we gotta let the Palace go. We can start a, start over and let's bring that fucking toughness back to the city of Detroit. Where, where it's really tough and, and, and really gritty, at, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, didn't mean for this video to be this long. Great game tonight, man. Um, H. Bill was out there scoring, willing to deal, and he looked good out there, man. If he can consistently next year, if he's still on the team, hit his mid range jump shot, bro, I won't mind H. Bill. If he consistently hit that shot, because he looks like he's getting confidence in it, if he consistently could hit it, then keep him on the team, bro. Give him another shot. But uh, overall, man, like I say, man, it was some good, some bad, some ugly in this game. But overall, Stan Johnson hit the um, game winner, knocked down a couple free throws, and we took this home. Um, Andre, you need to get your head out your ass and come back next year with a vengeance and play. You should be mentioned all the time with the elites um, in the NBA. You should be a top 15 player by now. You should be one of the best centers in the NBA right now, and you're just not mentioning it. And I don't feel bad because you haven't lived up to that contract. Um, this year, so until you get your head out your ass, then you don't have to deal with the consequences of people bashing you and calling up for terrible names and shit. But like I say, I'm gone. Great guy, a great team, great team win, great game from the um, young guys, great game from Bobine. Um, shout out to my DBE members. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm gone, man. Peace.